In 2003, you were in charge for German Ministry of Finance of the preparations for setting up uh, what would become Bruegel. What were the Germans' motivation for creating it? Yeah, when we started the project creating Bruegel in uh, 2003, of course, there were two reasons behind that. One was uh, the 40 years anniversary of the German-French uh, Treaty of the Elysee. And, uh, there we had some so-called lighthouse projects and uh, Bruegel was one of it. And uh, the more seen from content was uh, that we thought uh, we need a new kind of think tank in Brussels, a think tank which is quite unique uh, in its way. And uh, it is a public-private partnership. There are three stakeholders, it's private industry, it's science and it's the political administration involved. And we thought this is really something which we really need because we have to tackle a lot of different uh, political uh, ideas and features. And uh, therefore we thought this melange of people would be very helpful. Was it easy to agree with the French and the other partners? <sighs> Most time it was, it was easy. Uh, of course you can imagine uh, there are still a lot of cultural uh, specificities in France and Germany, but I think uh, together with my friends uh, from France, we could agree nearly on everything. And I think we found where we did not agree, we found a good compromise. So uh, in, in fact, I believe we now have a very, very strong think tank and uh, which can work. And uh, for me anyway, looking backwards, it was always a pleasure. You have been following uh, Bruegel since its launch in 2005. Has it fulfilled your expectations? I think yes. Um, without any, any doubt, yes. Because uh, I think if you look, it's now only, uh, say, the 10th anniversary is coming. And uh, I think uh, it is still started from a baby position. And uh, I think now the word of Bruegel is really heard in the uh, European debate, in the international debate. And it also strongly focuses on, on important economies in the European Union. So I think, uh, um, I think yes, it's a success. And uh, I can only propose to, to go on. What are the main challenges Bruegel should now address? The main challenges Bruegel should now address uh, probably are uh, yeah, the fallout of the crisis. I think... Uh, there are so many issues at stake now. Uh, let me mention the new design of the European Union. It's, a f it's an institutional design necessary. We need rules, we need procedures uh, to tackle the most important issues, which is uh, financial sustainability, competitiveness of the Union, which also uh, puts uh, strong ideas not only on the public administration, but also it's important for industry and the private stakeholders. There is really so much to do and I think Bruegel is very well equipped to deal with this crisis in a very, very broad sense and I think this is what should be at the forefront, I think, of the next, say, three to five years.